Hello, welcome to Smart Tesla News. This is Patrick, We're watching Tesla Trip, and the news never stops here in Elon Musk land. <laughs> He's been on Twitter a lot lately, and there was a shareholders meeting, and let's just get to it. Model 3 is now the best selling mid sized premium sedan in the United States. They started a new Model 3 production line, and Elon's confident about getting to 5,000 vehicles made per week by the end of this month. The volume production of the Model 3 is going to be early next year, and they're actually going to start doing a little bit of it at the end of this year. So if you want that $35,000, 210 mile range Tesla Model 3, you know, it might be Christmas at the earliest, but probably into next year. Model 3 insurance should cost between 20 and 30% lower than a comparable BMW Model 3 series, and Tesla's working with insurance companies to get a rate closer to that. I noticed when I got mine, it seemed a little high um, compared to my other vehicles. So hopefully they'll be able to get that down a little bit. Model 3 is going to have summon, definitely. Uh, it doesn't currently, but that will be in an update. And also, it's going to be a way more advanced uh, autopilot for all hardware 2 vehicles, such as the S, the X, and all Model 3s, especially in version 9 coming out in August, is what Elon's saying. And that's going to allow the first self-driving features of the hardware 2.0 and higher vehicles. But, you know, this is Elon time, so three months, probably six months, definitely. <laughs> MKBHD asked Elon on Twitter if the Roadster 2020 would have autopilot. And Elon said that it'll definitely have an augmented reality mode that'll massively enhance human driving ability, like a flying metal suit, but in car form. Talking like, you know, like the Iron Man display where it's, you know, an augmented reality way of driving. So apparently, you know, there'll be overlaid information of the road and things to help. There's also going to be a SpaceX option package, and it's going to include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines will dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering, and may even allow the Tesla to fly. And Elon has said this before in tweets about something about it flying, and that what they showed off in November was just the base specs and that it was going to be dramatically better. <laughs> this sounds crazy, and I was reading through a bunch of different tweets and, and, and things like, how are they going to do this? How are we going to have to put rocket engines in a car? Well, apparently it's, it's, it boils down to basically being compressed air. Uh, so they're uh, COPV, and the, the, they're going to refill when the car is not using them, and ultra-high pressured air canisters and the thrust would be um, replenished under the vehicle power pack draw allowed operation of the air pump which is most of the time and somewhere I was reading it may, may be that the, they might not have back seats to allow for the air compressor and the, the storage of the air so that's going to be really interesting like are you going to is a normal person going to be able to drive this thing when the thrusters kick on to accelerate it even faster than, you know, like 1.9 or 7 seconds or whatever they're saying? It's just crazy fast on this Roadster. And how much is that package going to cost? Is that going to be the $250,000 one? And the base is the $200,000? What do you guys think? What This is just, this is just crazy. <laughs> So other things that they're going to be doing uh, with autopilot, back to autopilot, is on-ramp to off-ramp could be released in a couple of months. Um, so that's talking about version 9. Elon was mentioning that there's two different paths that they're taking in order to develop this. And one's just about ready, and then there's another way that's a little bit more complicated. I guess it's more towards the full self-driving. And they're, they're going to be able to release one of those here one way or the other in a couple months. I also mentioned that Supercharger version 3 is going to be quite an improvement, and they're announcing that later this year. Uh, the charge speeds will be improved uh, on all the newer cars. Cars built in 2012, the batteries won't be able to use the improved technology. Only battery packs with the newer chemistry can handle that. Didn't exactly say what the cutoff is, is when they start using that newer chemistry. Tesla's also going to offer cars with more than 400 miles of range down the road. 
They also mentioned that Tesla Energy is going to be doubling in growth every year for the next few years. So that's kind of crazy that it's just going to be super big. Like the Gigafactory will produce more batteries than the rest of the world combined next year. They're going to be building a new Gigafactory with batteries and cars coming out in Shanghai, China. And they're going to announce that later in next month. Tesla will be adding body repair sections to some of its service centers. Body repair costs and times will be improved. Same day repairs will be possible for some of the repair situations. And that's a big issue. Um, actually, I just had an incident with my Model 3. Somebody backed a truck into it. And it's just a small little crease of a dent in the trunk, but it's going to require probably a new trunk lid. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. I mean, it looks fine and it works great, but it actually, the crease is so perfect you can barely even notice it. But we'll see how long it's going to take to get parts in. I imagine it might be like a month or so before we get parts in and get it all fixed up. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll take some video of it. Model Y production is going to start in 2020, and they're going to reveal it next year in March. Another interesting point was that Tesla currently only uses leather for the steering wheel. And they mentioned that you can actually request that you have a steering wheel that's made out of, um, you know, a vegan material. But they can't implement it for all cars just yet, and they will for the Model Y if it has a steering wheel. I, I don't know, nobody's really picked up on that, but what Elon was saying, if it even has one. The, the, so that's that's new. I mean, 2020, he's, ta he's, he's pretty confident in the full self-driving. <laughs> I don't know how much he was joking or half-joking about that. But that's kind of that's kind of big news there. Some confidence in whether or not the full self driving will be ready in just two years. Uh, boring news. Last but not least, we'll, we'll save the boring for last. They had their flamethrower or not a flamethrower pickup party on Saturday, and they invited a thousand people to come pick up their flamethrower. They're not a flame flamethrowers, and it looked like it was a lot of fun. They got pictures in front of signs and things and. Uh, they're saying that the, the flamethrower is obviously the best way to light your fireplace barbecue. No need to use a dainty match to ignite. If no wood, just drop your flamethrower in a fireplace. It will generate way more warmth than a quaint pile of logs. <laughs> so they're on to the next thing, which is going to be a freeze ray or a freeze gun or some kind of a cooling gun. Um, apparently that's not terribly hard to do. Uh, just don't ignite it and it'll come out cold. So, yeah, that's... What do you guys think of these crazy, boring company things? Are they going to be also doing the candy? Um, because of Elon's little feud with so-and-so. Thank you guys for watching so much. I'm going to try and do these videos, like, as the news comes out a little bit more. So maybe just, like, one or two stories uh, every couple days as opposed to piling up for a week or two and then just kind of kicking them all out at once. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you're looking at getting a Tesla Model X, S, or some solar panels, please use my code. It's just down here at the bottom of the screen in the show notes. Thanks for watching so much. Goodbye.